Right. So if that's okay with you, we shall begin this press release of this multi-religious forum named um, a crossroads this response this multi-religious response uh, to answer to this social and environmental crisis thank you so much for all the uh, representatives from the media and those following us online via streaming here together with me we have mr jan hernandez sarret and uh, who's the organizer and uh, Dame Adza Karam, who's the general director of Religions for Peace uh, here today with us uh, online. She's in New York. Thank you. And also on the front row, we have, I don't know whether the sound is okay. Could we solve this because it's truly uh, uncomfy? Okay. Great, thanks. Uh, we have the general coordinator of Manresa 2022, Mr. Calmet, Maria Noms Alzina, also a counselor for social action, who's also been working from her town city uh, council department. And Mr. Exmache, director of press of the Diplocat, the foreign affairs Department of the Catalan government. What are we doing today with this multi-religious meeting uh, from the 27th to the 30th of November? What shall we be focusing on uh, given the framework of the 500th anniversary of St. Ignatius' stay in our city? Most likely this is the most spiritual um event and this is why we've uh, decided to give this multi-spirituality multicultural uh, nature so that we can talk about the climate emergency resilient cities social and economic crisis and this profound crisis that the whole uh, mankind needs to tackle so that our planet can last for many many more years and we shall do so together with 50 religious leaders from 33 different countries from all around the globe and we are thinking that this will be a great event in our city we will reflect think debate and together try to tackle the social and environmental crisis due to this climate emergency. This crisis affects all of us, not only our city, our Catalonia, not Europe, but everyone in our planet. So we want to do so through interreligious and intergenerational dialogue with a great presence of youngsters and women we will focus on cities. Why? Because most uh, of the present population lives in mega cities. So it's necessary to reflect, to change uh, the model, bearing in mind this fact so that cities can become more resilient, sustainable, facing this climate emergency. We need to talk and tackle the social perspectives, bearing in mind climate change, but also spirituality. Why? Because we want to consider all those values that uh, spirituality and different religions uh, embrace throughout the world. Also, in this debate and reflections and exhibitions, both scientific uh, exp uh, exhibitions and um, participation will be wonderful. We feel very happy to count on representatives from all the corners of, of the world, pe people who are really relevant in the spiritual uh, and religious world. Um, Ms. Ella Gandhi will be with us. She's the, the uh, great uh, granddaughter of Mahatma Gandhi, also the great Mufti of uh, Uganda, Mohammed Abdeslam, also a 
a great reference who has uh, referent, sorry, who has uh, received awards and honors from the Vatican, the um, a special award by the Pope, Pope, sorry, and Amani Lubis will also be another very important representative. Uh, who will be here. Also representatives from the Muslim, uh, Jewish, Hinduist, uh, the Shinto, the indigenous, etc. from all the different religious backgrounds and also from very uh, far away geographic from Japan, uh, the US, Philippine, the Philippines, Indonesia, South Africa, Kenya, Chile, from all the five continents we will have our friends and experts here. We have the Manresa Pact. This document we drafted and together defined includes all these ideas reaching to certain conclusions so that all these religious leaders from all around the world can uh, travel back home together with their communities, their different members of their confession, and so that this message can be expressed and shared with everyone. This is why we talk about the crossroads, right? This document holds values and tasks to do from our meeting at the end of November. So as I say, we want to have more secure, inclusive, resilient and sustainable cities. We also feel proud because we will experience some lovely moments. One is welcoming these 51 friends coming on the 27th Sunday of November. Uh, and they will actually f walk the, one of the latest paths of the Igna Ignatian uh, walk so that they can see this amazing facade that welcomes everyone from the Tower of St. Catherine when newcomers arrive in Manresa. Also, we will carry out two visits to discover the monastery of Montserrat. And also we will discover the archi architecture with the Holy Family, the Gaudi, the Sagrada Familia, important religious building in Barcelona. And uh, apart from all the conferences that we will uh, celebrate during the three days. And finally, also we feel truly happy because the different confessions in the city will uh, join together and un open everyone, everyone's doors from different temples in the city of Barcelona. And finally, I would love to thank Religions for Peace and Ms. Adza Karam, the whole team at Manresa 2022 for their great work, the Diplo Diplocat, uh, who has also helped an awful lot. And of course, all the different centers which will open their, do their doors to everyone in this uh, religious, this path crossroads. Uh, now, Jan Hernandez shall have the floor, who will explain a little bit more. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Mayor of Manresa, councillors, members of the Diplocat, dear colleague and friend, Professor Adza Karam, journalists, ladies and gentlemen. For me, it's a true honor to be able to introduce uh, our project in this wonderful space. The climate crisis, as the, our Honorable Mayor has said, puts in trouble the worldwide security, even we talk about infectious disease transmission, it's affecting everybody. These are the consequences of climate change. This is why this is affecting not only the environment, but society in, generally, in general right now, and it's getting worse. So our forum has a specific objective, action towards transformation. This forum organized by Religions for Peace, this interreligious worldwide, first reference institution, probably the largest one in the world, was recognized in 1970 by the UN with it's it's present in over 70 countries around the world. It collaborates with different institutions like the UNESCO or UNICEF. Religions for Peace is present in the five continent, continents and 
it's based in the action. It talks uh, amongst different religions. It's made of people who are committed with the world through their transformative action. And it's thanks to this transformation active that we connect with, with St. Ignatius. Our forum, this crossroads forum, will begin with this community walk uh, arriving in Manresa on the 27th of November, as St. Ignatius did 500 years ago. This reminds me of the fact that we must keep moving. We need common and shared actions given this climate emergency. This is why in our program, we will celebrate three days of reflections from the 28th to the 30th of November, where we will focus on our duty, observe, identify what's the situation in big cities around the world. In 2030, we will have 60% of the world population living in cities. So we will see how we can create more inclusive, sustainable and resilient cities given this climate emergency. And remembering that Saint Ignatius also had this special link with our cave in contact with nature here in, Manres, in Manresa. In the afternoon of the 24th, we will visit the monastery of Montserrat to see how we can help monasteries to create such cities, more humane cities. Afterwards, on the second day, the Tuesday 29th, we shall analyze the thinking, the judging, knowing the limits and capabilities that all of us have. How can we work together so that a Congress only of a religious uh, world, it, it's not the case, it's an intergenerational and interreligious forum so that everyone together can work and advance hand in hand. We put the accent in the youngsters and examples of resilient, committed people working towards sustainability like the Youngsters Movement and Committed Women. These are the names. And religions, thanks to their great know-how, their sacred texts and writings, they act together as a unity. There are three main elements, the economic, social, and environmental factors, and they do it together with the will of sharing spirituality with hope and commitment. Here on Tuesday 29th in the afternoon, we will share with citizens of Manresa and people co coming from all around the world. We will have workshops, debates to talk about how the youngsters, the youth movements can be more diverse, the role of women, minority religion, indigenous women, how the interreligious groups affect or impact uh, far beyond integration in the uh, future uh, cities. On Wednesday the 30th, we will sign a pact. It will be materialized in a document that shall be called Manresa 2022. This pact, as it happened with St. Ignatius, these will be sent from Manresa towards the world to transform from who we are, believers, people of faith and not, right now and in the future, because the world we live in needs our action. This is the motto that we used. We need your action. We shall be waiting for you, everyone in Manresa. Thank you. Excellent. So in order to uh, carry on, we shall give the floor to Professor Atakaram, the General Director of Religious for Peace, who shall delve into a little bit more details on the people participating in this forum. The floor is yours, Professor Karam. Thank you very much indeed, um, distinguished excellencies. Thank you for the opportunity to be with you here today. And I think you've actually said everything. Um, I will just share a little bit about the, the distinctiveness of the group of people who have agreed to join us from literally different corners of the world. And these are faith based and faith inspired leaders in their own right who have already invested time, energy, um, intellect, and activism 
in working on issues that are related fundamentally to our environment and our spirituality. So we will have a very committed group of leaders. Why do we refer to them as leaders? Because they have served, they continue to serve their communities. Religions for Peace recognizes leadership not only as those who are ordained or have titles or have degrees, but those who have effectively continued to serve different communities and interests over time, inspired by their spiritual reflections and beliefs. So we have a community of leaders of different ages, because as the previous speakers have indicated, it is an intergenerational. And why intergenerational? Because at the end of the day, every one of these people who are coming to join us in Manresa know full well and live and are committed to a deep understanding and obvious reality that people live together. There are no communities that are thoroughly isolated from one another. There are no age groups that are thoroughly isolated from one another. And as a result, this is about addressing some of the harmful actions over time that has led us to the space where even the air we breathe as human beings and as a planet is an endangered commodity and species. So they understand that part of what has led to this is not thinking together, not reflecting together, and above all, not serving together. And each one of the people who are coming to join us are people with a heritage, a legacy, a history, and very rich experience in actually working together to serve and to serve all regardless of religious, geographic, gender, ethnic, regardless of any distinction, these are individuals and in a sense giants who have spent a good part of their life, whether they are young or older, who have spent and are still committing to spend the rest of their lives to working together to serve one another. And I think it's this this understanding of intergenerational and multi-religious. Multi-religious as the most, uh, the, an identity that defines everyone, eight out of 10 people in the world uh, profess to a certain religion. So when we speak about the religious, we're speaking about eight out of 10 people in this world. We're speaking about the world. The multi-religious is precisely the reality that we are. So we have, um, as we heard from the list that was shared earlier by His Excellency the Mayor, we have people coming from all professions, from all corners of the world, from all ages. The only commitments they have in common is that they have served different communities. They've never done it solo. They've done it always together. And they believe very firmly in their faith tradition, they're inspired by their faith, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean inspired to only serve their faith community. They are inspired to serve all. And those are the kinds of people we will have the privilege of having join us, as you heard, not only in terms of deliberations, not only even to make a commitment and a pact to work together and to hold themselves accountable to what they do to save our environment, but also quite frankly, to literally walk the journey, part of the journey of the Camino together. I've never heard of that kind of a situation before. It'll be a first to see different faith leaders intergenerationally walking together, part of the Camino to honor um, St. Ignatius of Loyola 500 years later. Thank you. Uh, now we shall then give the floor to our journalists here. Okay. Uh, would you like to clarify any queries? I believe that something Professor Karam mentioned, uh, which is fundamental, is that if eight out of 10 persons in the world 
are persons of faith or, or believe in a certain religion or, or are part of a specific confession, it means that in a debate where all these confessions have been able to participate and we reach a pact, we reach an agreement which offers solutions to towards this climate emergency and the need of having future more resilient cities, I believe it's an extraordinary way to be able to reach out of 10 people in the world. Here, of course, we need the commitments by the states, of course, but this is also their task because uh, we have the Kyoto and the UN uh, summit and, and, and uh, you know, agreements and regularly the states uh, get together in such international summits. We are not a state, we represent the citizen, citizens of Manresa and Barcelona, but we are working towards uh, reaching this goal together with representatives from different uh, different uh, religious leaders, because we want to reach, um, we want to reach, um, we want to reach such problems that affects, affect us all. The, His Highness the Pope, as you know, we have uh, um, we have spoken with him uh, on several occasions. He does know that we shall celebrate such an important forum here in the city, and His Highness obviously has been invited. Whether he will come or not, we don't know. He has been invited. Yes, His Highness. I believe that this is a very singular, specific moment because we are highlighting, we're focusing on this moment. In the culture, the Forum of Cultures in 2004, I believe the Parliament of, Re of Religions met. And after that wonderful event, 20 or 18 years later is still uh, remembered with with uh, wholeheartedly we also drafted a document that was shared by all these religions in order to keep working and to explain and share such ideas we are not hoping this, we're not planning to celebrate this recurrently or, or every such or such years. We are now organizing it in Manresa. We will uh, arrive to certain commitments and maybe a few years later, maybe a different country or cities might uh, want to celebrate such forum again. The question was whether this will have a certain continuity, but we are proud to celebrate it now in 2022 because it's the 500th anniversary of St. Ignatius Day in, Mar in Manresa. Will the town, the city hall or the town con council adopt some measures after this forum? Yes, we are a city and sorry, I forgot to mention before that such city is a referent international city. When we went to visit His Highness the Pope, we were able to talk with him for a long time. Manresa has been participating in the interreligious uh, debate. We've been doing so for many, many years. Uh, I know this doesn't answer your question, but I wanted to say that we've been working on this for a long, long time. As for our commitments, yes, of course, if we want a pact coming out or deriving 
we must be the first ones to give answer. We are committed. I will not uh, detail all the measures that we are already putting into practice as a city to be more sustainable. And the ones we shall put into practice next year, we will be explaining them and it shall be reflected on the 2023 budget. Of course, we shall be committed and we have uh, fully agree with this document, of course, now and in the future. Professor Karam, I don't know whether you would like to mention something to uh, finish this session before we can take the family photo, if you wish, because the microphone was partly off. No, I'd only like to maybe nuance the fact that in, in spite of the fact that you have so much, you've done so much and that this is such a topical area, it is important for us to, to realize that we're doing a first. This is a first in so many ways. This is the first time that different religions or religious um, people with different religious orientations come together. Um, they come together on the occasion of effectively the founder of the Jesuit order, which His Holiness Pope Francis represents. So in so many ways, this is an important first. It's happening at a very, very critical time, because as we've heard from the other speakers, um, Distinguished Excellency, the Mayor and Professor Jean Serret, this, this is a time of war, of plague, of famine. Um, this is these are very dark times for all of us in our world. Um, we never thought we would come to this stage when after the Second World War, and yet here we are. Um, and I think just to understand and appreciate that when we take time to come together with our beliefs, to bring people committed to serving each other and to saving this planet, not just committed in their heart, but have an experience of working to do this over many, many years to bring them from across the different parts of the world, from across the different religions, when we normally think religions don't get along with each other, yet here they are working together in a dedicated, selfless way. Um, in many cases, sacrificing a great deal of their own well-being and welfare because they are committed to serve. This isn't just an ordinary conference. This is a moment of spirits to come together, but spirits who are not living in an ether, spirits who are living today, this moment, serving in order literally to save one another. This is a very important occasion. So let's let's appreciate it as such. And regardless of how we see what is happening around us, let's just focus on this moment a little bit because in that focus is a prayer for mercy, which everyone will be dedicated to serving together in that moment and to walking that journey together from this moment on. So we have a great deal of gratitude in our hearts for the city of Manresa, for being there in this moment for our world, quite frankly, and a great deal of gratitude in our heart for Professor Jean Serret, who had the vision to see this moment and its spiritual significance. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Karam. Okay, so if you agree, we shall take this uh, group photograph.